Saturday morning. There's definitely a ring of truthfulness when you listen to Ken's dad. And Ken, I, the words in your songs really depict, I think, emotions, but also stories. And so let's start with, are they stories about you or about other people? Um, I try to just draw from both, like my own experiences and other people's experiences, because you get inspired by people uh, that you encounter. And so um, there's just feeling like that song, Born to be Free, is about um, just kind of Edmonton coming to life again after the winter, you know, the long winter months that we have there. <laughs> Um, at the market just off White Avenue and so just that feeling and, and the, the story that's in, within that in itself is uh, it kind of came to life in a song so so an Edmonton boy right yeah from Edmonton yeah <laughs> and uh, you were started off interested with rap and heavy metal and rock and then so how does one do a 180 into folk music and roots music yeah, that's a great question so I used to play a lot of sports and so my uh, peers always listen to rap and hip-hop music so that's what I listen to um, to my mother's credit um, I was in trouble with her one day and so she said okay that's it like enough's enough you are coming with me and my middle-aged friends to the Edmonton Folk Music Festival which was a punishment at the time so so we went and uh, we had a great time and uh, I saw one man Eric Bibb who just kind of performed one man and a guitar like myself and he performed in front of 20,000 people and entertained them all so uh, it kind of changed the way I thought about music, wow. just really positive and uh, a good message as well. So mm -hmm. so interesting now too, you've got a new album out, uh, Fear Has No Place Here. I think there is a story behind that because it, it resonates differently, I, I, I would think, with different people. But there is a story. There is a story and I, and I write to connect with different people. Um, but the story behind that is I used to... Uh, be married. I used to live down in the States and my, my ex and um, I had a stepdaughter um, and she was 10 years younger than I and suffered a lot from social anxiety so to the point of not being able to leave her room in the morning and so we used to have this like mantra if you will that you know we just say over and over fear has no place here, fear has no place here um, until she was able to leave her room in the morning and so that turned into a song as well um, and so I wanted to make sure that it was accessible by everybody because I think it's Fear is an emotion that everybody relates to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, once again, getting back to your songwriting, it is so strong and, and very truthful and, and simple. And you are on a tour of house concerts. So, you know, people, you can actually hire great, gifted singer-songwriters like Ken and entertain in the house. But I, it, I would imagine it has a different feeling, right, than in a big hall. Well, it completely does. Like, for me, we get to have fun. We get to sing together a lot more. We get to uh, interact with people. Um, there's people that dance and stuff with us. And uh, so it's just more informal. I think it's more fun when you can hang out with your friends and, and, and watch a good concert in your own, in the comfort of someone's house or on a couch, you know. Um, it's a totally different feel to it. It's very informal. Mm -hmm. And on this tour, you have two very special people with you. Yeah, so my girlfriend, Erin uh, Kay, who's also a singer-songwriter, and her daughter, uh, Lila, is on tour. And so uh, we're both performing all the way across Canada and having a blast doing it. Well, congratulations, Ken. Once again, the album is called Fear Has No Place Here, but we love Ken. We'll leave you with a little bit from Ken's Dead. Open your eyes so you can see. Ooh. Mm -hmm.